Hi kids, it's mommy. And we're at the Museum of Natural History in Boulder, Colorado. Right now, we're about to see something fierce. Can you guess what it is? Dinosaurs. Ooh, all right, let's see. Formation of fossils. Dinosaurs are formed in fossils. The word fossil means to dig up, or means it was dug up. Somebody pulled it out. Yeah. They're the remains of any life found in a rock. That's how dinosaurs were discovered, as fossils in rocks. Let's see what kind of fossils we can find here. Oh, I see some exciting ones. All right, here we go. Look at this guy. What's this guy called? This guy's funny. Look at him. He is known as the duckbill dinosaur hedger. Yeah, let's see what it says. Many duckbill dinosaurs or hadas, hadrosaurs had crests on top of their heads. The purpose of the crest is still not entirely understood. But the crests were hollow, connected to the nasal cavity, and many have been adopt, adapted to make sound. The shapes of the internal air passage in the crests are very similar to musical wind instruments and may have produced a variety of different tones when the animal snorted. So yeah, this guy had a crest on his head, and when he snorted, he made music. <laughs> Can you guys do it? <laughs> All right, who's next? Who's next? Oh, look at this guy. He's known as a Mosasaur. Mm, look, he kind of looks like a shark. Like, there's my shadow. Ah, oh, there he is. Maybe he was the brother of a shark or the great, 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 great grandfather. Mm -hmm. Look at this footprint over here. That's a big footprint. There's mommy's hand. And that's their hand. Who's this guy? This guy is known as a plesiosaur. And this is his paddle. Or actually, it's a plesiosaur paddle. Um, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> That's his foot. All right, what's next? Who else do we have here? Look at this guy. Whoa, this is one of the biggest guys we've seen. Do you know what it is? He's got two of these big points and the big round helmet behind him. He's known as a horned triceratops. What does it say here about him? It says the triceratops, or meaning three horned face, was a plant eating dinosaur that was common in what is now Colorado around 65 million years ago. A long, long time ago. Triceratops was among the last of the dinosaurs to become extinct. This specimen was collected in East Central Wyoming in 1891. Triceratops belongs to a group of dinosaurs called Ceratopsians. The size and shape of the frill or bony shield at the back of the skull, that part back there, and the number and direction of horns vary dramatically among species. That's so interesting. Wow. Well, we'll learn more about other dinosaurs and other animals later. In Romanian, remember? How do you say dinosaur? Dinosaur. Bye-bye.